Hello you good people of the Blue Peter website. If you are absolutely legendary, you've already seen the video that Alex showed us about how you can read somebody's mind using a dice. If you're thinking, what are you talking about? Watch the previous video, but as for us now, we've got one more trick that wasn't on the show. Alex, I see a book in your hand. Yes. What is that book? This is... Tiny dictionary. It's a tiny dictionary. It's a school <laughs> dictionary. I keep it in my pocket at all times. So okay. Look up words. But uh, what this trick will be, what it will look like is, uh, you could do this one at school, you could do it at home. Uh, you ask your friend to name any page number in a dictionary that yeah. you have at home or you have at school. There's about 600 pages in here, so they could name any number between 1 and 600. You're going to leave the room. They go to that page. They look at the first word on that page. Yes. You come back into the room and you can tell them what that word is. No. Not possible. Lindsay's gone, which means it's the best two now. That's the best. Dream team. So, uh, so what will happen is uh, she's going to tell you a page number, and she'll look at the first word on that page. Yes. Mm -hmm. When you leave the room, yes. after you've heard the page number, you need to remember that page number because outside the room, you're going to have a duplicate book. There we go. That's the sound of a penny dropping. Love it. So <laughs> that is genius. That's smart, isn't it? I read this one when I was a kid. I used to freak out my parents. I loved it. So let's say she says page four hundred and three. You go outside and quickly flick through. Page yes, four hundred and three. The first one is piercing. That is true. Or picking. So, so you could either choose a column as well if you wanted to get really complicated. Okay. But uh, let's say it's that one there. So picking. So let's say that. So when you're out of the room, you tell her to go look at page 403, and while you're out of the room, you secretly look through your book, look at the first word on that bit, which will be pickings on this example, then you then hide your extra book, and when she says you can come back in the room, you come back in the room, and you make a big show out of reading her mind. And one of the big things about being a magician, or a mind reader, or anything like that, is the showmanship, how you sell it. So when you come back in and you read her mind, you can do it, you know, you could do this thing so you're reading her mind, you could do it through interpretive dance if you wanted. I'll leave it, I mean, I'll leave it up to your, your creative. Place. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm probably gonna commit to this. You're gonna <laughs> like this, and hopefully, Lindsay's mind's gonna be blown. Okay. Hello. Nothing to see. Okay, I'm back. So, uh, okay, if I'm being honest, Linz, I don't know if this is gonna work. Okay, well, let's see. <laughs> because, I'll be very impressed if it does work. Because Alex has basically explained that there's, well, essentially a one in 26. So the chance of getting the letter of the alphabet and You're then... saying a lot of words, I'm just hearing excuses. <laughs> so what okay. I'm going to need you to do is just do the trick, Radzi, okay? Okay, Come on. okay. so right. there are uh, 630 pages okay. of words in this okay. millions mm -hmm. of words. So uh, you're going to pick a random page, what do you want it to be? 222. 222, 222. Okay, so, this has become, because you said it'd be easier if it's a higher number, so that's now... Come on, 222. <laughs> so you need to leave the room. And then we'll pull you back in once uh, you've looked up the number, the first word on page 222. Okay. 222, 222, 222, 222, 222, nearly there. 209, 219, here we go. 222, so the very first Ooh, word. The very first, should I say it? You could show the camera as well. Okay, forever. is forever. 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 It's. There we go. Right. Okay, so he's got to come in and guess that. Yeah. And he's not in the room, he's out of the room generally. This is okay. all. For Bring real. it back. Okay. Radzi! 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 Okay. So I'll leave it up to you, however you want to do it. Go for it. So straight away you're trying not to give anything away. No, no. I'm just thinking you've got no chance of doing okay, this. Okay, so the number was 222. Two, two. Mm hmm So you said... So what proportion of that 600 would be in the alphabet? I think from there what you said, although I think you're going to go away here, I think it's going to be doing it either D, E, F, G or H. Oh, you've given nothing away! <laughs> okay. Obviously Back not! Okay, it's not a B, not, no. It's gonna be. Uh, I don't have a panic, I'm. Oh, go on, go on. Okay, I'll go for it. Let's go F or G. F or G. Did we give it F or G? Am I allowed to say? You could probably say, yeah, that's probably didn't give anything away to you. Yeah, much. okay, yeah. It begins with one of those two, okay. Hmm. I'll go for. Okay. okay, it's gonna be G or F followed by a vowel. So it's something like go, could be, could be go, could be, could be going, could be getting. Or like fitness or forage or forage though. Forage doesn't sound bad. I'll go for. I'm gonna go for you said that rule of the vowel, then the third letter being something like an R or a T sound. It looks like a fitness or a furnace. 
something are, let's go, let's go. This is gonna take. This could genuinely take forever with me. I'll go forever. Let's go forever. <laughs> How have you done that? <laughs> Right. How did you do that? It's good though. Is that right? It? Yeah, it's forever. It was legitimately forever? Yeah. Well, forever, yeah. There was only one thing to do in this situation. Happy dance. Oh! <laughs> How? Yeah, boy! How did he do that? It's, it I'll have to watch the video on the Blue Peter website, yeah, won't I? Followed all the rules. Okay. <laughs>